In this video we're going to learn how to use the print command and how to use strings within a print command. We're going to look at the difference between single and double quotes and how we can get those quotes if we want them within the text that we print to the screen. I'm going to be assuming that you're either using idle or cloud9 and that you're at the um, Python command prompt. OK, I'm assuming that you're at a prompt with three chevrons like this. And um, this is where we're going to start. So the first one we do is print hello world, which is quite traditional. And the print statement is all lowercase and an open bracket, close bracket. I'm going to go back into there. You can do the close bracket at the end if you like. I'm just stressing that it's open and close bracket. Open quotes because we're going to put some text on the screen. Um, hello world, exclamation mark close quotes. Now this is not a program, we're just um, using some programming statements and it prints hello world um, here. Now I want to try and do something else and this one's not going to work. Let's say I want to do print. I'll do the close at the end now. Harry said what? Close quotes, close quotes, close bracket. Everything looks right, seems to fit we've got an error and that's because it thinks this is the first bit of text and this is the next bit of text with nothing and we've got this what question mark in the middle what's that on about well if I actually want to use these quotes here in Python um, double quotes and single quotes are almost the same thing so if I want to use double quotes within my text I'll do print single quote now rather than double quotes it doesn't care and I'll put Harry whoops Harry said, and then this time I put in the double quotes, it's saying the start of our string starts with a single quote. What? This is just part of this text because it's a single one there. And then close with that one. And this time Harry said with the quotes, um, what? So no problem um, there. If I want to do um, something that's got a single quote in there, I could do something like, double quotes so everything's going to go in there and I'm going to say um, what's that Oops, what's that now this will work because the string is within the double quotes because that's what we started with the fact there's a single quote in the middle doesn't really make any difference what's that if I want to print a straight number rather than um, number as a text I just don't put any quotes in there. And finally, because we're going to use these in some later on, I'm going to say A equals, and A can just be um, something that's used to reference something else. And so A equals, let's say, hello all. And I can print A. Now, whoops, open that, open A. And print A, what it's do, it's going to say print A. There's no quotes, so it's certainly not a number. Let's find out what A represents, and it knows that A represents hello all. We've reached the end of our video. Please remember to subscribe. In the um, description below the video you will find links to exercises that you can do to make sure you understand what we've done. Each video is going to build on what we've done before so that the um, knowledge that we gain gets more and more um, thorough. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay in field with Winfield.